How do you turn a networking event into a prospecting event? Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, the sales hunter. And you know, in my book, High Profit Prospecting, I talk about how prospecting is not networking and it's not, but there's opportunities when you're at a networking event that you will turn it into a prospecting, but you have to understand you want to be prospecting and you want to be networking. It's two different activities. Now, the two do cross over. The, do, the two do come together. And let me walk you through how it does. First of all, networking operates on a different timetable and at a different level. Remember, networking is about the relationship first. Prospecting operates in really what I kind of refer to as weeks or maybe months at the most. Networking, on the other hand, really operates in months and sometimes even years. And prospecting is about really coming with a defined target, defined outcome. And networking is about creating relationships, both valuable. Let's talk about how we turn a networking event into a prospecting opportunity. First of all, do not go into a networking event thinking it's going to be a prospecting opportunity for you. No, you go in viewing it as relationship building. Your objective is not to meet a hundred people. Your objective is not to gather a hundred cards. Your objective is to create two or three relationships, two or three relationships that you can in turn follow up. Now, here's a little technique that I love doing. When I'm at a networking event and I meet somebody, I may get their business card. I may not get their business card, but I, I remember their name, so forth. And I'm going to remember, A, where did I meet them? What was the name of the event, the month, and what's one personal piece of information. Now, what I'm going to do within 48 hours is I'm going to email them back and I'm going to say, hey, it was great to meet you. And I'm going to reference something regarding that personal piece of information that they shared with you. Now, this is so key. Too many times what happens is people go to a networking event and the reason they don't want to go to a networking event is because salespeople are going to ah, be on them. See, what I want to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to reconnect with you regarding your personal piece of information share. I had a VP of sales one time who I met at an industry event and he made the comment to me that he was about ready to build a house. Now think about this for a moment. Now, why was he sharing this piece of personal information? Because we had reached a point in just a couple minutes of conversation that he had reached a level of confidence with me. You see, this is key. Networking is not about just connecting with people. It's about creating confidence with people. Because when I create confidence with people, it's amazing what they'll share with me. So what I was able to do is I was able to follow back up with him and, and ask him a question regarding the house that he was getting ready to build. That stayed with our relationship for several years. And he ultimately wound up becoming an unbelievable client of mine. And in turn, relayed me to a number of other people. The amount of business I got off of that single relationship was amazing. But it didn't start off by me trying to sell him, no. It was me just creating a connection. You see, what I want to do is I want to go to a networking event. I'm going to have just one or two events, one or two people, maybe three people that I'm going to focus in on. I'm going to focus in on them and I'm going to follow up with them. Now, here's the way that I really bring value to a relationship. I may meet somebody at a, at a networking event. That's great. You see, what is networking about? It's about relationships. So how do I bring value to that person? I connect that person with somebody else. I may follow up with that person and say, Ross, great to meet you and thank you. And I'm going to introduce you to so-and-so who I believe. Now, this is, this is amazing because now what I'm doing is I'm networking on top of the networking. What am I doing? I'm nurturing my network. Now, it's all about network. I mean, your business relationships, your sales model is about networks but it's about nurturing your network. It's not about using your network, it's nurturing your network. And when I do that, it's amazing what happens. You see, what happens is now I wind up having the ability to take this relationship that I've now created, I've nurtured, I've deemed value in it, and they've deemed value in me. Now I can begin to cross and begin to be asking them questions about their business asking them questions about their life, asking them questions that will lead me potentially into a sales opportunity. But this is the reason I say that sale, that prospecting and networking are not the same thing because prospecting takes weeks to develop. Networking takes months. If you view selling as taking months to develop, then you're going to view networking as taking years. It's a much longer timetable. So this is why I say I never allow salespeople to sit there and say, well, my prospecting this week is going to be a networking event. No, no, that's a networking event. It's not a prospecting event. Hey, my name's Mark Hunter. If you like this, subscribe to this channel. We put new videos out every week. 
It's all in my book, High Profit Prospecting. And go down to the description because I have a great ebook that I want you to download on more prospecting ideas. Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Great selling.